So the significance of the procedure is that it was a heart and kidney transplant combined in the same patient. We often do heart transplants in this hospital and Donna Gordon Mediclinic often does renal transplant but we've removed the organs from one donor and implanted them in the same recipient on one day. It really started off with a heart transplant that went well and we then got the renal team in and they proceeded with a kidney transplant. And we've got now we've got a patient who had a severely failing heart beforehand and was on chronic dialysis. She's got a well functioning heart and is off dialysis. Before the session, I was feeling tiredness when I walk. And then after the session, I, I feel very well. I'm no longer tiredness and I'm no longer dialyzing. I think for this case, what makes it unique is that there are two organs being transplanted. For every patient, having a transplant is a very unique experience. It comes with a dual emotion, one being this excitement that finally I'm not going to be so sick anymore, but also this fear of what will happen. And now if you add a second organ to that, there is even higher risk and the trauma is even greater. Um, having been so sick, there will already have been many emotions. We're already looking at the possibility of depression. Now, suddenly, they're thrown in the deep end and there's a lot of trauma that can be experienced but Summer is just amazing and she went through this with incredible uh, tenacity and was able to manage everything that we threw at her so she did very very well. Unfortunately some patients do pass on while they're waiting for organs and this is due to the shortage of organ donors in this country. So it is very important for the communities to be aware that there are patients walking around with end-stage organ failure and they require new organs to be able to survive. We have many people waiting on the waiting list um, for either heart, a lung or kidney transplant. And unfortunately, the reality is that many patients pass away while waiting for the transplant. I would like to encourage everyone to become an organ donor. Um, it is the right thing to do. Inform your family of your wishes. And um, because in the end, even though you are registered as a donor, they are still the ones that need to give consent and to be able for you to give life to other people. My life has been changed a lot. Um, now I'm, I'm getting back my old life and I thank God for that.